Most people in America are familiar with simple abuses, physical abuse, sexual abuse, or sexual assault, rape, right? Emotional abuse, psychological abuse, but other abuses they're not as quite familiar with. There's technological abuse where people use their phones to talk about people and stalk them together in teams and harm them, gathering data and information for a game, it seems, or some sort of journalist report that they have no permission to write because it's all work. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth about liars who like to ruin signs and do things that are improper and immoral, but they think they're moral, and that's the funniest part about it, that they're doing immoral behavior to harm someone that they think is immoral. How the hell does that work? In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth on many things, but other types of abuses are when people put insects on other people, and literally, people who work in pet shops get access to all sorts of things, fleas, chiggers, ticks, etc., and so they might just be that kind of Satan that they want to walk up to someone who's sleeping or walk up to someone who's napping or walk up to an elderly person who's sitting, and unfortunately we don't have any benches for the elderly here, which I think is an abomination to God, and literally put something on someone or take something off someone. And when I was in Fishers, people did that all the time. They were constantly stealing my face logs out of my pockets and out of my bags. You know what? The only people around that were consistency were Hispanics. So maybe that's a guess of me, but that's what it felt like. There were certainly a few Indian companies around there too, but we have to remember that people come into America from different societies where different things fly because there's not enough police to stop it. But here's my problem. My problem is if you don't take care of the people who do the little petty theft, then you'll never stop them when they keep aggravating the assaults on people like me and others, where they continue to lie, steal, and cheat people out of their property that comes from God, out of their personhood, which is also their property and literally out of their paperwork that protects our lives and nobody has the right to do that if you're in the force and you're lying in records you don't deserve to be in the force and if you're an employee at a company and you're pissing on somebody who's not been a, a customer in your store for a little while that's on you but openly it's also a liability for your company where you can be sued and your company can sue you and your company can be sued not a fun game for you because you'll be the blame of it all